Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to enable or disable Steam input. Now, for this, you can go to Steam, make a right on the game, select properties, and then you can go to the controller tab. Now, over here, you can select disable Steam input, launch the game, and then check. Still not working. Then you can even try enable Steam input. Check which one is working fine for you. Still not working. The next step is to open device manager, make a right click the start menu, go to device manager and expand human interface devices. Now over here, if you find like if you find key crone keyboard or razor huntsman keyboard or mouse over here, then you can make a right click and you can disable it. This is just an example. I don't have uh, a key crone keyboard over here. If you find it, you can disable it and then relaunch the game and then check. Once you're done playing the game, you can always enable it. Now, if you have any external keyboard or mouse connected, you can disconnect it. Like if you have key crone or razor huntsman keyboard connected, disconnect it. Disconnect key crone or razor huntsman dongle. Disconnect any kind of uh, dongle or USB adapter connected to the computer. Disconnect razor tartarus. Unplug flight simming hardware. Like if you have hotas, wheel, pedals, or any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect additional controller. Sometimes we have extra controller connected, disconnect it. Disconnect arcade stick. Disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any virtual controller like VJoy, etc. running uh, or any kind of virtual joystick application installed, you can disable it or you can uninstall it and then check. Now the next step is to PlayStation controller. Enable it in the sound control panel. Now use the wired connection for it. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then go to control panel, go to hardware and sound and go to sound and then you have to connect your PlayStation controller over here. Now once the controller is connected, you will see your DualSense wireless controller. You can make a right click. If disabled, you can enable it. In my case, it is already enabled. Then make a right click and then click on configure speakers. Quadrophonic. Next, make sure front, left, and right and surround speaker both are checked. And then click on next. Click on finish, and then relaunch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to use wired connection. So you can connect your controller using the USB cable uh, to the computer, and then you can check. Next step is to select. Controller, you uh, select the controller which you want to use, restart Steam, and then start the game. Now, for this, you can type in USB game controller in Windows search box and then click on Setup USB game controllers. And over here, you will see your controller. Now, go to the Advanced option over here, click on Advanced, and whichever controller you want to use, you can select your controller over here and then click on OK. Whichever controller you want to use, select it and then you have to relaunch the game or maybe you have to restart the stream as well and then launch the game now still not working the next step is to playstation controller user you can use ds4 windows you can search in google if you uh, you can install this application and you can configure your controller and then check next step is to update controller using playstation or xbox accessories app if you have the xbox controller go to microsoft store Type in Xbox Accessories app in Windows search box and then click on Xbox Accessories. If not installed, you can install it. Once you install it, connect to controller. Again, go for wired connection. You can connect to controller using the cable. So connect to controller. Once you connect it using the cable, it should detect your controller over here. Once it is detected, now you can click on this three dots that is more options and then update, you will see update option, click on update and continue. Now once updated, now you can check, relaunch the game. Similarly, if you have PlayStation uh, controller, you can use PlayStation accessories app. You can, go, you can go to the PlayStation website, go to the official website and then you can click on download for Windows and then you can run this exe file, install it. In my case, it is already installed. So you can launch PlayStation Accessories app and then you can connect your controller.
Now, once the control is connected, uh, if there is update, you will see update option. In my case, it it's already up to date. So you can update your controller and then relaunch the game and then check. To launch Steam in big picture mode. So go to Steam uh, at the top right, uh, sorry, on Steam. Top right here, you can see enter big picture mode icon. Click on enter big picture mode. Now, once the Steam is in big picture mode, now you can select the game, launch the game from here, and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time, and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.